Hi to all my fellow audio fixated geeks on YouTube and I do hope you're all keeping well. Thanks for all the great feedback and comments on my previous videos. And if you haven't subscribed yet, why ever not? Go on, do it. You know it makes sense. So today we turn our attention to one of my favorite full-size cans from the last couple of years, the Hi-Fi Man Sundaras. Hi-Fi Man, for those of you who aren't familiar with the brand, are a Chinese company who've built their reputation by making planar magnetic headphones. And it's fair to say that they've produced some really well-regarded headphones over the years, primarily in the HE series. They seem to be naming all their latest headphones after Sanskrit words, so we have the likes of the Sosvara, the Ananda, the Arya, and the one we're looking at today, the Sundara, which apparently means beautiful. Now this is all really disconcerting because I have a mate called Sundar and he is definitely not beautiful and he also sings like an absolute donkey. So I do hope that these cans will both look and sound better than him. No offense, mate. I got this pair off Amazon UK for £299. They're listed on Hi-Fi Man's website at $499, but apparently you can snag them for $349 as they're always in a semi-permanent sale. The other thing to note if you're into buying second-hand gear is that Hi-Fi Man released a bit of a stealth update to the Sundara last year, which apparently was limited to a change in the earpad material and shape, but it seems to have resulted in an overall improved sound quality and it's this stealth revision that I'm reviewing here. So what do you get? Well, you do get this impressive presentation box and inside, let's get that lid off. Inside, you get a quite attractive and surprisingly helpful instruction booklet, which is really nice to have. You get the usual warranty card and if we lift the foam, here are the beauties themselves, which we'll take a look at properly in a minute. You also get just a standard cable and a quarter inch uh, adapter, but that's it. You don't get a case, you don't get a balanced cable or anything, and everything is cushioned by this weird faux silk material covering some foam. And it feels surprisingly luxurious, although it doesn't half smell like a chemical factory. Now let's take a look at this cable first, as to me, this is the weakest part of the whole package. It's sturdy enough, but as you can see, it's prone to looping. And it reminds me a bit of Grado's cables. It terminates in a 3.5mm uh, angled headphone jack at one end, which is a bit peculiar, I would have preferred it to be straight. And at the other end, you've got a couple of 3.5mm TRS connectors, which plug into the cans themselves, one on each side. This is not a balanced cable, it's a single-ended cable. And at 1.8 meters, it's too short for comfortable home listening when you hook it up to your stereo, for example. And it's also a little too long and thick for portable listening. Although, in my opinion, the Sundaras are not portable by any stretch of the imagination, for reasons which I'll get to in a minute. Thankfully, there are loads of third-party cables available, including options for balanced cables if you fancy splashing more cash. But how about the cans themselves? Hi-Fi Man have in the past had a reputation for poor build quality and questionable durability based on some of the previous models, but there's no sign of that here on first inspection. The main headband is a piece of super sturdy metal, and there's also a comfort band which rests on your head and as you can see, it's reassuringly wide and soft and supple. It's made of some kind of pleather and it feels super comfy. The ear cups themselves look pretty big, but because they are completely circular as opposed to oval, they may not fit those of you with excessively large dangly ear bits. They fit me perfectly and are really very comfy. The body of the cans houses the planar magnetic drivers and overall, at 372 grams, they are surprisingly light for this style of headphone. I love the industrial look of the grill. The headband adjustment is the only cause for concern in the build quality. It feels stiff and clunky, and it will eventually scratch the paint off the metal. Apart from that, these cans feel pretty durable and look like no-nonsense old-school audio equipment. They give off a bit of a functional vibe, a bit like the Grado headphones, which I happen to think looks really cool. When it comes to comfort, I love the way these fit and feel. I've worn them for hours on end easily without any sign of head or neck pain. And because they're open-backed, your ears will be able to breathe the taste of freedom and not get too sweaty. 
The only downside is that there's absolutely no swivel on the ear cups to improve the fit and seal. Now I got a good seal, maybe I've got a conventional sized head, but if you have a larger rounder head then you may well struggle. Let's talk about amplification. I think Hi-Fi Man suggests that the cans can be driven by portable devices including mobile phones and yes a quick glance at the impedance rating of 37 ohms might back that impression up, but they're not the most sensitive of headphones with a figure of only 94 decibels per milliwatt. Remember, the lower the sensitivity, the more current you need, which pushes up the total wattage needed to drive the headphones to their best. So for portable use, you might need something like the iFi hip DAC. At home, I've got them hooked up to my Lehman Audio Rhinelander, which makes them sing beautifully. On to the sound then, and in time-honored fashion, let's look at the tonality first with the help of some graphs. Here is one from our reliable friend, Crinical. It shows essentially that the Sundara has a pretty neutral balance overall. There appears to be a linear bass roll-off at under 50 Hz. The mid-range, however, is pretty flat, apart from a very slight dip at 2 kHz, and the treble looks really nicely extended on the whole and pretty close to the neutral target here. But enough about the science, how do they sound? Well, I fired all kinds of music at them. We had Daft Punk's Random Access Memories, which, as you know, is a beautifully recorded album from 2013. R.I.P. Daft Punk, by the way. We had some poorly recorded early Nirvana to see if the guitars would be too sharp and fatiguing. We had some Laura Marling to test the instrumental mid-range and female vocals. We had some Deep House, courtesy of Global Underground. We had Charlie XCX's 2019 album, Charlie and some random jazz noodling on a Tidal playlist. We also had the Minnesota Orchestra's new recording of Mahler's 10th Symphony, the unfinished one, just to demonstrate scale and power and also to demonstrate my pretentious classical music credentials. So, after hours and hours of listening to all that stuff, what can I tell you? Well, these things absolutely deliver sonically across all genre. Planar magnetic headphones are meant to have a bit of a bass kick and the Sundaras do not disappoint despite the apparent bass roll off in the sub bass that you saw on the graph. There's certainly a kick but the bass is the most deliciously textured and exquisitely articulated that I've ever heard on some full size cans. At the other end of the scale the treble is just remarkable. I think the treble is probably the best aspect of the Sundaras. Now it might be a bit bright for some taste, but it's never sibilant or harsh and it definitely pushes towards the analytical side, but they do enough to reveal the details with enough space around the instruments to prevent the whole experience from feeling a bit grainy or fatiguing. If you are very, very treble sensitive, you might find these not to your taste, but you can always EQ them down in software. The weakest part of the tonality is probably in the mid-range, which is for the most part extremely neutral, but the mid-range doesn't sound as forward or warm as it does on, for example, the Sennheiser HD650s. However, this is an extremely minor complaint and the mids are still present and they're not overly recessed and they articulate really well with the lower frequencies below and the treble above. Again, there's more than enough texture and detail allowing me to hear bits of the recording far more clearly than I could on my HD 650s. In addition to the tonality, what makes the Sundaras really special are the imaging and the sound stage. Imaging particularly is exceptionally clear and the separation between instruments is amazingly good, apart from when things get really busy, for example in Mahler's 10th, when it's sometimes difficult to pinpoint exactly the various sections of the orchestra it still maintains a really balanced um, presentation of the symphony though. Faced with something less challenging, like for example, Nora Jones's silky vocals and tasteful backing on the Daybreaks album, and you can almost feel musicians in the room around you. Some say that the soundstage isn't as wide as competing cans, but I've found it to be excellent, easily bettering the HD 650s. Overall, I would say the Sundaras give a smoothly articulated, accurate and really nuanced presentation of the music with plenty of subtle detail where it's needed without graininess or fatigue. Or, to put it quite simply, for non-audio snobs, I find them incredibly enjoyable to listen to. They've totally ruined the HD 650s for me, which despite their mid-range supremacy sound veiled, bass light and a bit lifeless in comparison. 
Sorry, Sennheiser, but you've been relegated back to your luxurious box for now. Now remember that the Sundaras are totally open backed, which means that you really have to listen to them in a quiet environment, otherwise you'll get interference from outside noise, and everyone else in the room will be able to pretty much sing along word for word to whatever you're listening to. This, in conjunction with their relatively high power amplification needs, make the Sundara not ideal for mobile listening, so I'd stick to enjoying them at home. Overall, I'm totally in love with the Sundaras. I cannot think of any other headphone at this price point that you should even consider. Good job, Hi-Fi Man, and the Sundaras are worthy of the first ever Audio Fixation Gold Award. Just go and buy them. Thanks for watching the review. I hope you found it useful and interesting. Let me know your thoughts below and watch out for more videos coming up soon. Until then, I am off to a quiet room with a good book, the Sundaras and some good music.